greatest theft of our century. Gone were the days when we sit, stare at the void, and enjoy the moment, not thinking of the time that goes by. Gone were the days when we take time with our work, savor every moment of writing, reading, fixing, and creating things. Heck, even factories nowadays use a lot of machines, robots, and even AI. Kids use credit cards for cheat codes. Youngsters won't settle for a full-time job. Adults rather would get a work that would barely lift the muscle. Gone are those days. But I always wonder, will it ever come back? Has the earth revolved faster than the time we spent for ourselves, our meager, per se? This is not about cynical of the advancement of times. Tools and technology is inevitable, but it's never meant to cripple us from savoring time. Time do fly fast. We have reports to pass, jobs to finish, and clients to serve in every aspect and field of our lives. We chase time like it's running away from us, and yet we forget to realize that time is never relative to our future. Whether we succeed or not, we will still grow old and be beaten by time. As the great Einstein would say, the distinction between the past, present, and future is only a stubbornly persistent illusion. A persistent illusion we often make when we chase to finish things for a certain goal. And what goal is it? For food? For money? For a future? Or for power? We try to steal time by running after it. We try to beat it like it's not ours at all. Think about it. The moment you were brought into this world, it was free to use. You were free to go out and play and even enjoy our every moment of your life. Then you grow with time. You forget about him and chase things that aren't free. We begin to earn things that are under property of time. Time that was once free slowly began to have a cost. So what we do? We steal time. It's still time to take a break. Have a trip somewhere else just to satisfy yourself that you need the time for yourself. Buy things to buy time and ending up never having time to enjoy them. We are now thieves getting drained every day from chasing both time and life. This unending routine will never stop till we realize that we were made thieves regardless of our statute in life. Poor, middle class, or rich, we are all hungry to be contented. And uncontentment has stolen our innate being and made us all thieves and beggars for what was once free, taken for granted. Who then is the great theft of our century? It is, and it has always been, ourselves. In our uncontentment, we have become thieves.